Okay, this is a short video on how to set up showing time. So first we're going to go ahead and log in to the High Central MLS site and this will look familiar to you and you'll see your dashboard and from here we're going to go into the show time, showing time uh, app. I'm going to click on that, we get in here and next thing we're going to go to listing setup and you're going to find your listing so this particular one we're going to set up this listing today you know, there's three big benefits I really like from this program one is it authenticates who's doing the showing request you must have access to MLS to do this and as we know there have been people who have posed as realtors sending emails to show property for various nefarious activities let's say um, but at least this gives us a little bit of uh, reassurance that it's someone authentic and then number two all of the showing instructions are typed once and when you confirm through this program everything is sent to the agent especially with properties that have more complicated showing instructions Ritz Carlton for an example is two paragraphs of how you get the key how you go through security etc so it makes it real simple and then finally there's a really nice summary report that you can share with the owner of the property it includes the seller's remark or the agent remarks if you want to include those sometimes that's helpful so anyway let's go back here so when we first come in it's going to give you this uh, telling you you need to set this thing up so in this particular one we're going to do a pretty easy one allow agents to set up online we're going to say yes allow them to request virtual or this is a new one obviously put in for COVID this particular one I'm just going to say they can set up in person uh, showing you can also uh, before we get into this box we can go to showing restrictions and let's say uh, you need to block out a certain amount of time for the tenant it can only be shown in the afternoon or something you can set it all up in here it has a lot of real easy things to do I'll show you one that's more common maybe we're not going to show the property for a couple of days so I'm just going to click here it's going to take me to this box and I'm just going to say on this one I'm going to say no showings till the 17th and this is going to be repeated so we're going to start it on the 13th which is uh, today that I'm doing this it's going to last until the 17th and it's going to be every day until we get there okay and it's going to be an all-day restriction meaning no showing until we get to this date on the 17th so I'm going to save it okay so you can see now it's blocked out so even if an agent tried to request it the system's going to tell them sorry you cannot show during that time so it's a really nice feature um, that you can use okay going back to showing instructions so continuing down appointment type I'm going to say appointments are required is this listing agent accompanying the showing no I'm not going to show up for this particular property and then this is how I'm going to be contacted by text and email um, I want both of these if you haven't done so make sure you download the app on your mobile phone and you'll receive as soon as someone requests a showing on your property you'll, you'll instantly get it on your phone you can actually confirm it on your phone as well share showing agent details with the clients no I don't want to do this there are options um, you can share the information I guess the only time you do that is maybe if the owner is the person who's going to be showing the property there's other functions in here we're not going to look at today but you can add other people to the confirmation um, but we're going to skip that today okay this is nice lead time so what's required um, this particular property that I have is vacant so I really don't require they can show it in a moment's notice but I'm going to suggest that it's a one hour and this is good if you have uh, let's say you have a tenant operated or uh, a tenant occupied you could select 48 hours as required so you can change these around as you need but this particular one is vacant with a lockbox so we're going to leave it at zero but I'm going to suggest that they at least give us an hour notice maximum appointment length time no need for two hours I'm going to knock this back to an hour so there's a little bit of room there allow uh, scheduling overlaps no I don't want that because this is a, a lockbox so they need to return it um, and have that open up so how can the access uh, how can the agent access so this particular one is a lockbox you can see all the different uh, combinations that you have in here 
and mine's the old fashioned combo. And then we can insert the combo in here. And then the location, where is it located? Um, for example, on the, on the unit door. And if there's an alarm system, you can plug in the information here. And then here you can put in whatever the detailed showings are. So uh, if, if the lockbox is located someplace, you can type that in here. Or if there's certain things they need to do with security, um, they can do all that in there. And then directions, if there's something special about it, uh, you might want to put in uh, guest parking instructions uh, or where they can park. You can put all sorts of things in there. Okay, now once we've got all this uh, uploaded and put in here, I'm just going to hit Save Changes. And now you're good to go. So now the whole thing is set up. Of course, you can always come back in here and fix things up and change it around as you go through. And you may have changes in your showing appointment. But I hope that gets you started.